One more example, same problem. This time we'll use method of undetermined coefficients. We have a constant coefficient left-hand side, <coughs> uh, a constant coefficient linear operator we could call it, and on the right-hand side we have a forcing term which is of a relatively simple form. It's a simple exponential and the idea behind the method of undetermined coefficients is that if my forcing is a simple exponential, I can probably just assume that my particular solution is also some sort of exponential of that form because when I take a derivative of the exponential, I just get the same exponential times some constant and x is also just some constant minus r1 times my guess. So, as I, as I uh, mentioned in class, uh, undetermined coefficients is a way of finding the particular solution. We already saw when we solved the homogeneous version of this equation that a homogeneous solution is e to the r1t times an integration constant. So we'll, we'll keep that knowledge in the back of our head. Those are usually easier to find than particular solutions. This is just a method for quickly finding the particular solution associated with this equation. So our guess, based on this form, linear operator equals exponential. I'm going to guess, let me just write our method. method of undetermined coefficients, I will guess that the particular solution is capital A, some undetermined coefficient, times e to the r2t. And then I will insert this guess and see if I can find an A such that the equation is solved. So I insert, and what do I get? Uh, when I take the derivative, I will pull down an r2 r2a e to the r2t minus r1 times my guess, r1a e to the r2t equals s e to the r2t. So I have in each place, I have a common factor of e to the r2t. Uh, those all, I won't, you know, I won't cancel them. I won't cancel them. Because in general, if your right-hand side is more complicated, you would have different kinds of terms over here and different kinds of terms over here. And what we really want to do is we want to collect all the like terms. In this case, there's only one kind of term. Our job is, is fairly simple, but we collect all of the like terms. We say for terms like e to the r2t, what do we have on the right? We have a times r2 minus r1 e to the r2t equals s e to the r2t. And for this to be valid, uh, a must be chosen very carefully. a must be equal to s divided by r2 minus r1. And since we have found an a that allows this ordinary differential equation to be satisfied, we have therefore found a solution. We have found a particular solution of the form s over r2 minus r1 e to the r2t. This is the same particular solution we found using other methods, so it shouldn't be too surprising that we obtained this, but this was a little bit simpler. Uh, we just took an educated guess at the form of the solution, given that this was a linear operator with constant coefficients that educated guess is called the method of undetermined coefficients. We find the particular solution. We add to it the homogeneous solution to obtain the general solution. And now we satisfy the initial condition, which again, we've done this twice already, x of 0 equals s over r2 minus r1 plus c, that must equal 0, therefore c is negative s r2 minus r1, and again, x of t, I'll just write it in the last form that we obtained in the previous problems, s e to the r1t minus e to the r2t 
over R1 minus R2. So three methods we've seen, separation plus variation of parameters, integrating factors, method of undetermined coefficients. Next week we'll see another method. <coughs> And uh, then we'll, we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about undetermined coefficients next week.